the Sahara Desert is growing, and if nothing changes, it could erase an entire region the size of the United States. But what if the answer isn't walls or machines, but food? That's exactly what's happening right now. Across 8,000 green patches planted by farmers who are beating the desert with food. Africa's population is growing faster than anywhere else. Today, it's home to 17% of humanity. By the end of this century, that will be nearly 40%. But that future is under threat. Desertification is turning fertile land to dust. It's not just sand dunes moving south. It's the collapse of the soil's ability to hold water and grow food. What used to take 30 years now happens in just one. Dry lands already cover 38% of Earth's surface and are home to 2.7 billion people. In Africa, the Sahara has grown by 10% over the last century, expanding into the Sahel, a semi-dry belt where 135 million people live. If nothing changes, that could grow to 340 million people by 2050, facing drought, food shortages, and forced migration. Lake Chad has already shrunk to less than 10% of its former size. The crisis isn't coming, it's already here. But there's hope, and it's coming from the farmers themselves. Across the Sahel, small plots of dry land are being transformed into thriving multi-layered ecosystems in just four years. They're called food forests, and they work by copying nature. In a food forest, different crops are layered like in a real forest. Trees up top, shrubs below, vegetables at the bottom. It starts with trees. Their roots loosen compacted soil, pull up nutrients, and shade the ground, cooling it and reducing water loss. Some even add nitrogen to the soil naturally. Together, they create what farmers call a microclimate, cooler, moister, and protected. In year one, farmers build a living fence, fast-growing trees and shrubs that protect the plot and hold back erosion. By year two, they plant fruit trees and vegetables. By year four, they're optimizing, grafting better fruit, managing compost, and harvesting year-round. The transformation is dramatic, and it's working. In Kenya, David Abak went from struggling to grow corn to managing a thriving food forest with over 3,300 trees. During droughts, when his neighbor's crops fail, his forest garden stays green. He now grows enough food for his family and sells the rest at market. Before, he spent money on vegetables. Now, he uses that money for school supplies, fish, and meat. He's not alone. Across Africa, food forest farmers report growing 10 plus types of crops, increasing income from $400 to $2,000 per acre, and improving food security by 73% in the first year alone. These success stories are impressive, but they're just the start. What happens when thousands of food forests connect across an entire continent? A green wall. A bold African Union initiative to stop the desert by restoring 100 million hectares of land across the width of the continent. It all started in 2007, and it was first imagined as a literal wall of trees along the southern edge of the Sahara. But over time, it has evolved into something smarter, a mix of sustainable farming approaches with food forests at its center. The size of this project is huge. The Great Green Wall aims to restore 100 million hectares, about 250 million acres of damaged land by 2030, creating a green belt 8,000 kilometers long from Senegal to Djibouti. If fully completed, it would be three times the size of the Great Barrier Reef. The estimated cost of $8 billion seems small considering the potential benefits for hundreds of millions of people living on the front lines of climate change. Progress has been good but uneven. So far, about 30 million hectares have been restored, about 30% of the goal. Countries like Senegal, Ethiopia, and Niger have made big gains. In Niger alone, farmers have regrown 5 million hectares with over 200 million trees, 
using a simple technique called Farmer Managed Natural Regeneration, helping 2.5 million people. Projects like the circular Tolukir Gardens in northern Senegal are thriving even in the harsh conditions, becoming examples for the entire region. The Great Green Wall isn't just an environmental project, it's an economic revolution for some of the world's poorest areas. The initiative is expected to create 10 million green jobs, capture 250 million tons of carbon, and transform the lives of millions who currently face hunger. Seeing this potential, international partners have pledged $19 billion to support this vision. What makes this approach truly game-changing is that it fixes the root causes of desertification, not just the symptoms. Rather than treating farmers as victims who need handouts, it empowers them to heal their land and secure their futures. Women gain more control over food and income. Children get better nutrition and education. Young people find meaningful work without having to leave for crowded cities. As this green transformation spreads, each food forest becomes part of a growing network of life. Wildlife returns to areas where it had disappeared. Groundwater increases as rain soaks into the soil instead of running off. The local climate improves as millions of trees release moisture and reduce wind speeds. It's a positive cycle where one improvement leads to many others. The Great Green Wall represents a big shift in how we think about fixing damaged land. Instead of solutions imposed from the top, it builds on local knowledge and puts communities at the center. The approach recognizes a simple truth. People will protect what directly benefits them, what provides food, income, and security. When you look at a food forest thriving in what was once barren land, you're seeing more than just trees and crops. You're seeing hope taking physical form. It's proof that humans can help nature, that we can fix what we've damaged, and that solutions to our biggest challenges often come from working with nature rather than against it. As Africa's population grows to nearly half of humanity by century's end, the success or failure of the Great Green Wall may determine whether that future is one of prosperity or crisis. By planting food forests today, millions of farmers are literally growing a wall of hope against the desert showing the world a path forward we should all follow. If you made it to the end, thank you. Every view, every share helps spread this story. And make sure to subscribe for more True Geo stories. If you want more right now, YouTube thinks you'll love this one. Why this tiny island is the most dangerous place on Earth. Tap to watch.